everyone, thanks for joining us for another premiere update. Today, Laura and I will be discussing what it's like to work over 500 miles away from our coworkers as remote recruiters. So Laura, you wanna say hi and tell us about yourself? Hi, I'm Laura, as Anne said. Um, you know, being that our, our corporate office is in Wisconsin, I'm in South Florida, so pretty far. Um, I've been in the industry for three years now, and I decided that I wanted to try working remote and see see how that goes, see you know how the flexibility is, and um, so far so good. So again, my name is Ann. I work from home here in East Tennessee. I have been in the healthcare industry for about the last 15 years, working primarily remote for the last six. So Laura and I were going to discuss today some of the pros and cons of being a remote recruiter. So for me, one of the problems I had when I first started out was learning how to stay on task, how to focus myself. So one of the big things I found it was easier for me was to make sure I had a dedicated office space and then continued my work schedule as if I was actually leaving my home, even though I was just going down the hallway to into an office. Laura, how do you stay on task? Definitely, I have a set schedule as well. So, you know, using the, the calendar blocking in our email, so in our Outlook email, I, I set things up. So, get a little ding, you know, and it keeps me focused. Um, also, you know, having that dedicated office space, I think is really important, especially for the end of the day, you close the door, you, you know, you move on with your day and you're not trying to work 24 seven, but definitely I think the schedule is the most important um, piece of being a remote recruiter because like Anne said, you can find yourself doing laundry or playing with your dog or, you know, do, doing something around the house. We all have so many things to do at home. Um, you have to make sure that that doesn't cut into your, your work. A few of the cons that I've had have been, um, you can get a little lonely. So uh, I'm here by myself, you know, my husband goes to work in an office uh, away from home. So I'm here with my dog and uh, having a great team at Premier, I think helps combat that, that loneliness, um, you know, and just staying in constant contact with them. So Anne, do you have any, you know, cons to working remote? Yeah, so that was another thing with me was how do I stay connected with my team when my team's over 500 miles away. So again, like you said, it's always great where you can instant message someone, but sometimes you just need to pick up the phone and act like you're in the office next door. So it is great that Premier does give you additional tools in order to stay connected. Another con I found over the years is you, in the beginning, I tend to work all the time. So I wasn't able to stop my day because I would just be sitting in my office working and next thing I know my son's like, are we going to have dinner? And I'm like, well, yeah, when I get off work, but it's already eight o'clock. So that was another key thing for me to learn how to schedule myself and how to give myself a hard stop so I didn't blur the line so much between work-life balance. The positives with working from home is you save on gas. <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to deal with traffic. So if you live in a large city where traffic is a pain, you don't have that problem. You know, you can just kind of sit at home. Um, I've also found it's better for meal prepping. Uh, I can easily run in there, throw me a snack together. Um, again, leads to more time at the desk, but uh, for me, it works well. Um, I also think a huge benefit, I have a small dog, so I can just take, you know, you take your five minute or 10 minute break to walk around the office, I can just walk my dog outside. Uh, she's not cooped up all day. Um, she's not alone. She's much happier too now that I'm home all the time, so. I, I personally enjoy working from home. Um, some people I know absolutely hated, hated working from home. So again, it's a personal preference and how you feel like you best perform. Um, I feel like I do much better when I'm at home. I don't have the distractions of an office setting. So I really enjoy it. What about you, Laura? Do you, do you find it more beneficial not being in an office setting? Do you feel more productive during your day? Personally, yeah, I, I really enjoy working from home. This is the first time that, you know, I've been fully remote. 
And um, just like the less stress part of it, I feel makes me a better recruiter because then I can focus those efforts on my candidates fully and I don't have the distraction of a bad morning, you know, because of a commute or, you know, I don't have to leave the office to go get lunch and just, you know, in the kitchen or something like that. So I, I personally really, really like it, but I do know that there are some people that it's just not for them. But um, I think if you're interested, you should give it a chance. Um, just make sure you're disciplined. And if anybody has tips or tricks for us, we'd, we'd love to hear it. And if anybody has questions too about working remote, we'd be happy to, to talk about our experience further. Yep. So we will have all of our information below if you want to contact us with additional questions or maybe you have some tricks for us. But we want to say thanks again for uh, joining us for another premiere update. Thanks. Bye. Bye.